And I wondered, so we've got lots of listeners on the show who, who might not be familiar with all of the things we've talked about there. So could you perhaps help us understand better what you mean by moving from, from indemnity to parametric, I guess? What, what is that meaning and why is it useful? Any obvious areas where it makes more sense than the traditional indemnity approach? Absolutely. So, okay, let me give you a very simple example. So if we take... Um, your last travel when you went somewhere for holiday mm. and let's assume it might be the case that you were delayed. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have travel insurance, um, if you have a traditional indemnity based policy, what would happen is you are delayed. Um, you, Whenever you come back home or when you arrive at your hotel, you call your insurer, say, I was delayed. Uh, by so and so much and you have to sort of dig out the flight times and then mm. you have to submit that and then you have to submit your receipts if you had to buy yourself an extra toothbrush or pair of trousers or whatever yeah. has gone missing. Um, in the parametric world, there is literally somebody tracking um, how much your flight was delayed by. Mm. And if you meet the criteria and say that it needs to be delayed by an hour, and that's sort of tracked behind the scenes. So mm -hmm. if the indicator says, yep, this flight was delayed for more than one hour, the payment will be made automatically to yep. you, mm -hmm. um, a certain pre-specified amount, and then you can use it for whatever you want and you don't have to spend the cash out of pocket. Oh, amazing. Well, and it sounds like it's a, a really critical thing of like improving the value proposition we're giving to the end consumer and increasing the the desire and the demand for the product to exist in the market in many ways. So helping improve that experience is super central to this sort of ambition, mm -hmm. it sounds like. 